everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am unboxing a Lavender Poupes wooden doll and I am so excited for this. This is the first doll that I have ordered from her. She is one of my all time favorite artists. This is the first doll I've ordered from her that I did not ask her to do a surprise. So typically um, the last three dolls that I've gotten from her, I asked her to surprise me. And this one I did not ask for a surprise. So she has posted photos of her already on her Instagram and y'all she is absolutely amazing. Her name is Kia and she is so so beautiful and this artist is actually hands down my favorite artist to unbox from because the unboxing experience of her dolls is like going on a vacation I'm not even kidding so I'm going to pull her out already I smell the lavender so her dolls smell when she packs them up for shipping they have this gorgeous lavender scent that is just all in the packaging and I smell it and she is a Romanian artist so every time I unbox one of her dolls I just I really love to savor it and I savor the scent and you know imagine being in a lavender field in Romania and how romantic and amazing that would be like I said just hands down this these are my favorite dolls to unbox so I am just so thrilled right now to get her opened up okay so she is really well wrapped and Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show her to you guys. Oh, oh and I have to, there's some extras in here that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to reveal the doll first and we'll look at the extras second. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then, oh, I got a card. So thank you. Allison, thank you so much for adopting another doll. I really hope you will love her from Lorraine, with friendship, Lorena. And Lorena is the artist's name. And oh my gosh, y'all, I love her dolls so much. And she just posted a picture today. She's working on a jointed big wooden doll. And I told her, I was like, sign me up for one. Go ahead and sign me up. It's funny because every time I unbox one of her dolls, I go ahead and order another one because her doll, y'all, her dolls are absolutely amazing. She is one of my top, she's in my top five artists uh, of all time. I just absolutely love her work so much. And if you want a doll from her, I would recommend go ahead and reserve one because she has quite a long wait list um, because her dolls are really fantastic and they're all truly made one of a kind. So let's see, there's one layer of wrapping and then she's wrapped really well because you know it's a long journey from Romania. She actually arrived pretty quickly though considering the situation she mailed her maybe a week ago so it wasn't that long at all um, for her to arrive here so I'm really thrilled about that that she arrived so so quickly okay uh, I'm, I'm like I'm fumbling because I just want to get her open so badly like I'm so excited to get her out of here okay and this will be my fourth doll from her so here we go here we go we're almost there we're almost there all right oh the smell y'all the smell of lavender is so amazing with this doll oh my gosh oh she sent me candies i love getting candies yay i love getting candy okay so we got some candies she's got an extra dress in purple um which is my favorite color of course oh she sent me some lavender tea she sent me some of this last time and i love it you just steep it sometimes i add it with the earl gray and you just steep it and it's so good it's so amazing oh, i love it the smell is incredible and she sent me a lavender pillow oh y'all this is why I love unboxing her dolls so much. It's just this, I mean, the smell is, I can't even describe to y'all how amazing the smell is. It's so good. Okay, I think I know what this is, so we're gonna save it for a minute. All right, we're gonna look at the doll now. I'm so excited, so excited, so excited, so excited. And one thing, in case you've never seen me unbox one of her dolls, I just want you to see the little leather stamp that comes on the wraps of all of her dolls. Everything about these dolls is 1000% quality. Like 
these dolls I cannot say enough about them I just really can't they're just so incredible okay oh look at her face oh my gosh I love her so much oh y'all she's so beautiful look at her okay so I asked her if she could do me a dark skin doll and not only did she um was she able to she said that she would she was able to do that i didn't know if she would use a darker wood and she said that she just she paints all of the wood anyway she stains the you know uses a wood stain and um not only did she do a darker skin doll for me but she faithfully carved her this is all hand carved wood so this is a hand carved wooden doll this is the first one that she has done in this skin tone and if you this is the most amazing thing I have ever oh my gosh she's so perfect I love her so much she is so gorgeous I just y'all she's amazing She's absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited that she showed up um, this month since this month is the uh, annual World of Black Doll celebration so that I would have her for this to show her like here's another amazing, amazing artist created doll, artist carved wooden doll that is faithfully carved like she really did such a beautiful job on this doll's features and then um, just check out I love her hair I love the little buns she gave her um, the little space buns we call them sometimes because of like Leia's buns but oh and then she did this gorgeous embroidery on her outfit one thing I love about her dolls is they always come with an extra outfit because her dolls you know are a unique size because they're her own wooden doll size she does have underwear too for those of you who are curious <laughs> now I always make a point to show you guys if they have underwear oh she's so beautiful and you can see the wood grain just check out her legs you can see the wood grain in the legs Oh, she smells so good, y'all. Oh my gosh. The smell of opening these dolls is the most endorphin releasing thing. I can't even describe it to you guys. And so she makes the hair, all the hair is done from natural fibers. Um, y'all, she's so beautiful. She is absolutely so amazingly gorgeous. I love her. And there's a joint, um, the arms move. So the arms move, the legs move, and she's spring jointed so she'll never get loose. And she's also not a wide sitter. This is one thing I love about her dolls. They're not wide sitters. You know, some dolls that um, are like this, they sit really wide, but you can keep her feet closed and she can sit. So if you have, you know, if you want to display her seated, it's not a problem if you want to display her seated because her legs will actually sit in a natural position oh she's so beautiful wow she is so stunningly gorgeous she is amazing and look at her little ears i just want to show y'all she's so perfect y'all i love wooden dolls like um i really love them and she is just so talented with with these dolls and she does everything you know she makes the hair she paints the faces, she carves the wood, she makes the outfits. So everything about this doll is a work of art. Oh, she's so beautiful. She is so gorgeous. So I wanna show you the other extras that she um, included. Oh, but before I do that, just notice like this is an over, um, like I could take this off, this little pinafore, so I can get a lot of looks out of just the outfits that I've got here because I've got the extra dress and then I've got an underdress and a pinafore. Plus I have some other clothes for this size doll of hers because I have another one in this size. But y'all, oh my gosh, she, she's so perfect. All right, so let me show you the other things I got. So she um, was testing because she had never done a you know dark complexion doll before and she was testing out the wood and the paint and everything and she sent me a picture and I'm going to show you guys this she sent me a picture of the eye 
because she painted, I, she stained the wood um, the color that she wanted to and she painted the eye. And this is what she sent me a picture of. And so she sent me that picture and in my mind I was thinking this was on a really small, she said she painted on a scrap of wood. And in my mind I was thinking this is on a really small like coin size scrap of wood. And I was like that painting is so beautiful. Like you can't, don't throw it away. You know, if, if it's just scrap and you're going to toss it, will you send it to me? Because I think beautiful art, you know, even though it's just an eye, like I appreciate the art just in that beautiful eye. And I was like, send it, if, if you're going to just throw it away, would you send it to me so I can make a necklace, like a pendant out of it because it's really pretty. And she said, oh, Allison, the, the wood is much larger than that. It, so in my mind, I was thinking it was a really small piece, but it was a big piece. But she made me a little art statue out of it anyway. So with the scrap of wood, how amazing is that? Like, and then she stamped, I'm going to show you this. She stamped her um, information, or I think that's wood burning, on the back there. And then, so and then, here's what she did. Because I had asked that question, she actually went and made me a pendant with the eye. Is that not incredible? With a painted eye in a pendant. Because I was, I was like, you know, I just, I hated for this eye to go to waste because I was very much, um, I mean, like I said, it's beautiful. Like just the picture of this is so beautiful. And I was like, you know, so she made this pendant for me. How amazing. Lorena, thank you so much. This is so gorgeous. I love this. This is like having a little piece of art with you all the time. But you know, you know it's doll art. Like I can wear it. And not everybody will necessarily know that it's doll art. But I know that it's doll art because it's a doll eye. I mean, or that's what it was intended to be. You know what I mean? So I absolutely love that that is so gorgeous oh i love it i'm gonna put it on right now let's hope it doesn't interfere with my microphone okay it doesn't all right that's so gorgeous i love it all right so now what i want to do is i want to show you guys the whole family so i'm gonna go grab them all and we'll be right back all right, so here's the whole family now. The first ones I got were the two little ones, and I love this size. They're really gorgeous. Um, they're so much fun. They can actually wear some stuff like with, um, I have a few outfits for my meadow dumplings that I was able to put on them, and that worked out pretty well. And then I've got my other big girl, Lorena, here, which she was a surprise doll. And now I've got Kia, so I am like so excited to have all these gorgeous dolls in my collection because Lorena the artist, I named the doll after the artist, Lorena the artist is such an amazing artist, you guys. Just look at these dolls. I mean, she does everything, you know, from the making the outfits to carving the faces, carving the body parts. Everything is just so incredible. The detail is just amazing and I just I'm in love with this new girl so much I'm so glad because she has pictures you know when you're looking at an artist and you're wanting to commission a doll from an artist you kind of look at their pictures and I didn't notice that she had done a black doll before and so I asked her about doing it and she said yeah I'd be glad to do it nobody's ever asked me for one I'm like nobody's ever asked for one are you crazy like so I asked for one and she's perfect she's so perfect so so perfect so I have a feeling more people are going to be asking for one now now that they see how amazingly gorgeous these dolls are and the work of art that this artist is able to create with these dolls so um, I just y'all I don't I can't say enough about her I just I love her dolls so much the smell is so nice I just love how what how good they smell and you know everything about these dolls is so perfect they're Oh, they're such works of art. Like, they are such amazing works of art. So, anyway, I will leave her information below. I always contact her through Instagram. I just send her messages on Instagram. She also has a Facebook page. So, I'll leave both of those below. Um, and if you want to reserve a spot, I would just recommend to reach out to her either through her Instagram or her Facebook page. And if you really love the dolls, I would recommend reserving your spot 
um, sooner rather than later just because the wait is long because I mean because they're hand I mean everything about this doll is handmade like everything is carved by hand all the outfit look at the embroidery did I already say that I think I did but I mean everything is done by hand on these dolls and it's just you know it takes time for this level of perfection because that's what these dolls are they are perfection like I'm just, I'm blown away with her right now. I'm absolutely blown away with the amazing, amazing job she did on this stall. She is just, she's fantastic. Like, wow. I mean, you're nice too. <laughs> They're both great, right? They're fantastic dolls. Like, I, she, she's getting jealous because I'm going on and on about Kia, the new girl. But, y'all, anyway, I'll link all that stuff below. I just want to say thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.